that the original of Acura's RDX was the hybrid SUV likeness and understudy, amped up, anxious to party, brave, its 2013 follow-up had some way or another woken up wedded with a home loan. Gone was the first RDX's nervous turbocharged 2.3-liter inline-four motor, its torque vectoring super-handling all-wheel drive framework, and its firm ride. The greater part of it was supplanted by a harmless hybrid with a smooth, easy V6, a delicate suspension setup, and traditional all-wheel drive. Deals shot through the rooftop and haven't quit moving since. Presently Acura believes ample opportunity has already passed for an emotional meltdown. For Helsinki Crazers we are, the news is welcome. Simply take a gander at the 2019 RDX model here. We're putting sights around the turn model since this SUV is an arrangement of normal, measured entryway mirrors and marginally the little wheels from the one that will go at a bargain in the not so distant future. Acura is restoring the RDX to its turbocharged, super taking care of roots and gifting it a buff, gorgeous new body and an awesome inside with an all new infotainment framework controlled by a touchpad. It's all piece of operation make Acura not boring again, a term we simply compensated for the brand's endeavor to make a more engaged lineup with sexier interest than in the current past. The MSX Supercar was the main case of turning another leap, the RDX will be the principal volume item to get the light. Since each new vehicle update apparently should consolidate a size increment, the RDX develops in respect to its antecedent. Acura hasn't discharged every one of the measurements for the model, not to mention the generation display, yet reveals to us that hybrid's wheelbase is 2.5 inches longer. That would put it on the extensive side for the minimized extravagance class, and Acura guarantees that secondary lounge space and payload volume will be class driving. We jabbed and nudged and sat in the back seat of the model for ourselves, and albeit open, it doesn't appear to satisfy those cases. Last judgment should sit tight for Acura's arrival of the last item. More energizing than dimensional details is the way the new RDX looks. As the main Acura vehicle planned from the beginning around the spick and span's pentagonal grille outline, the RDX wears it best. Other styling signals got from Acura's precision idea from 2016 likewise function admirably, including the striking bumper swells, spear-like hood wrinkles, and pointed headlights and taillights. Everything joins to frame a shape that is both energetic and upscale. Acura has bundled also engaging equipment underneath this canvas. A turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four motor mates to another 10-speed program transmission, the two things obtained from Honda's great, recently, parts canister. Yield figures still are approaching, yet in the Accord, this motor makes 252 strength and 273 pounds to foot of torque. Those numbers would put the RDX in the thick of its four chamber rivals, for example, BMW's X3X Drive 30i, Audi's Q5 2.0T, and Mercedes Benz's GLC 300. While the active RDX's V6 created more power, 279 horses, it made less torque, 252 pounds to foot, and had just six forward riggings to work with. We envision the new RDX will conveniently outcelerate its forerunner, which raced to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. Acura could go zanier still and introduce the 306 horsepower adaptation of Honda's turbocharged 2.0-liter motor that powers the Civic Type R sooner or later. Despite what number of stallions dash underneath the RDX's hood, they'll be corralled to the asphalt by means of the most recent emphasis of Acura's super-handling all-wheel drive. Supplanting the present all-wheel drive setup that just rearranges control between the front and back axles, this framework can overdrive the output.